Hi friends, this is Manis Pandey. Welcome back to UiPath Forms tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to populate drop down button dynamically in UiPath Forms. So let's get started. Let's create one form or if you already have this form created, let's reuse that. Let's drag and drop this drop down list. Enter here in the label select country go to data and now as you know that this is the data source values where whatever data whatever value will enter here that will populate that will show in this drop down list i don't want to type here i don't want to add here hard coded or a static value i want to take it on runtime from the workflow so I will leave this as it is. I will go to the field key and this is the select country property name. I will use this one. So let's save this. Now go to main workflow. Select that form which you want to use for populate drop down. Now let's take one assign activity create one variable for country list so for now we will create a country list array of string and then we'll just store the list of country here and that that country will pass to that drop down this you can take it from data service or some other data sources Let's go to variables change that type to system.string that is array of system.string here we can type all the required country that value in this curly braces double quotes let's say I will start with India So this way we have created array for this country. Now we will click on this arguments. This is the select country that we created as a property in the drop down list. We will click on this type. Currently this is string but we need to pass data as an array of a string. So let's change the type to array of string and keep direction in because we want to pass the data inside the form and here in the value we will type list. Let's save it. Now we are ready to run that. Let's run it. And you can see here let's uh, resize this and you can see we have India Canada China Nepal Japan USA all these values this drop-down list is populated here I hope this video helped you understand how to populate drop-down list component dynamically in UiPath forms if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more UiPath tutorials. Don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments. Keep learning and keep automating. See you in the next video.